Have you guys ever tried to get a sticker off with fake nails? It is impossible and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with another book haul. My mom's physio is like right beside a value village So every time she goes to physio I tag along so that I can go to value village and buy more books that I don't need But here we are so without further ado, let us get started <sighs> The first book I have is called the girl before and this is by Rena Olson and it sounds super good I'm pretty sure that I had it on my most anticipated releases video when it first came out like two years ago. It's about this woman whose home gets invaded and as armed men are taking her out of her house, the last thing her husband screams to her is say nothing and it's basically her story of trying to figure out what that meant and these terrible secrets her husband were hiding and you know it just sounds like a real good thriller in my opinion so I'm super excited about it. The next book I have is called The Perfect Mother and this is by Amy Molloy. Mol Molly? Molloy? Who really knows how to say that? Not me, clearly. But it follows this group of mothers who all have babies who were born in May. So they call themselves the May Mothers and every couple of weeks they meet up for drinks and one of the mothers, Winnie, is very hesitant to leave her newborn but the other May Mothers convince her to and that's when the baby is stolen from his crib and it's basically the story of them trying to find this baby. Another thriller, you know your girl loves herself some thrillers so I'm super excited about this one. The next book that I have I was really excited when I found it because I've been wanting to read it for a while but I've never found a copy of it but it is Follow Me Back by by A. V. Geiger? Geiger? Mm. Again, we don't know how to say authors' names on this channel. But this follows a girl named Tessa who is obsessed with a pop star named Eric. She follows him on Twitter, she tweets him all the time, his PR team always tweets her back, and then a username called Aaron Thorne Sucks starts talking to her and a friendship is made and the real Eric is involved somehow. I'm guessing that it's the hater account is actually Eric, but whatever. But somebody ends up dead. That's all I know. I know that it's told like through tweets and stuff like that. So you know your girl loves herself some mixed media books. The next book I picked up solely because a lot of booktubers seem to love this book whenever they talk about it, but it is called The Magicians and it's by Lev Grossman. I don't know that much about it other than it's fantasy and it follows like a magical college and it says that it's for fans of like Narnia and Harry Potter so I mean I'm here for it. Hopefully I like it. I know that it got made into a TV show recently as well so maybe if I read it I'll watch the TV show. We'll see. And then the final book that I have, I've never seen it in this cover so I was kind of excited about it because the only cover I saw was like magenta with like the crossbone. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. But it is The Call by Padar Ogulin and I don't know a lot about this one. A lot of people liked it. A lot of people hated it. All I really know is that you get some call and then monsters come and they, I'm assuming, kill you. But honestly, I don't know. But apparently it's in like three minutes. That's like the timeline of how far you have to like get away. I'm hoping that a child gets eaten because it talks about kids. We're hoping that the children get eaten because who doesn't love when kids get eaten? That turned morbid quickly. It's like The Witches by Roald Dahl, okay? Alright guys, so that was my haul this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!